Hello boys and girls. I hope you've brushed your teeth, you've washed your face and you've got your pyjamas on and you're ready for your story. Well, just some time ago we hit 100 people listening to my stories. So this one is going to be a special and I think we should get on now. So Little Ted and Andrex went had been building a boat. Well, it wasn't really a big boat, but it was big enough for them. It had some fishing rods, a steering wheel, a mast, and um, decorative cannons. The cannons don't actually work. So, that day, they set sail and decided to go fishing. So, they got out their fishing rods and their sardines. And, using the sardines as bait, they threw threw the sardines on the poles down into the deep blue waters of course the sardines were still attached to the poles that they were holding by the rope so they waited and they waited and they waited until there was a wobble on little Ted's rod he quickly pulled it up and he had caught a sea bass. So then he decided to put it back in and then wait again. Some time later, in the evening, Andrex's pole started to wobble and wobble. It wobbled so hard that Andrex could barely hold on to the rod. He quickly pulled it up and there were two crabs on it. Now, little Ted, by the end of the day, had caught three sea bass and Andrex had caught two crabs and a sardine. Yeah, sardine with a sardine. That's pretty weird. So, they decided to go back to the docks and go home for the night. As they were walking back, they met a weasel. Now, he wasn't the sort of weasel that would steal your stuff, but he was very fond of seafood. So, they decided to trade. By the end of the day, when they had traded all of their seafood, they had three gold coins. Now, this weasel owns a restaurant called the Krabby Delight. And he invited them to come over and cook. For the crabby delight. Just for a day. So. They went over. And. They met the team. Which. Included. An otter. And a badger. And a fox. And. They got to work. So. They decided to start. By deep frying the sea bass. They both got one sea bass each and stuck and lowered it into the boiling water. It sizzled and it sizzled and eventually when they pulled it out it was a lovely golden brown, just the correct colour. So next they took it to the chopping board. Now 
please don't use knives at home. They're very dangerous. So, they decided to start chopping. Slowly does it. Chop, 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 chop. Until they had nice little bits of sardine. Then, they took the crabs and they took out all the meat in the shell and then they placed the chunks of deep fried sea bass into the shell and of course they had washed the shell and then they drizzled it with a creamy sauce and then they started working on the vegetables there was a lettuce an aubergine or an eggplant if you're from America but let's use English vocabulary and they also had a tomato why a tomato little Ted said oh well let's just follow the recipe and not get in trouble said Andrex so off they went chopping and sizzling and frying until eventually they ended up with the specialty that the crabby delight served and guess what it was called the golden treasure for some reason weird and do you know what it was actually pretty nice and they went home and up to bed with their bellies full so that boys and girls was the 100 listener special i hope you liked it thanks for listening and dream of crabs <laughs>